What's going on YouTube? This is like almost like the full length video of me drawing the angry beavers on my main channel. Will be just speed art of this video, no slowing it down. And it will be much shorter. I speeded this up a little bit because if I would have did the full speed art, I mean not the full speed art, but the full length video. YouTube might have not let me upload it, but then again, they might have. But it only took me 20 minutes to draw this drone, so it speed it down to, what, 16? 16, 16 minutes, I guess, but that's, that's, that's cool, but you still can get the gif of what I'm doing. Basically, with my no-outline skills that I use now, you basically just take the marker, you erase your hard sketch line light enough for where you can create take your marker and just color your bit your lightest color direct the base color and just color over the whole drawing like get everything right get it all in nice and saturated like you're supposed to with a marker you can use any type of marker basically or you can use color pencil you can do this with color pencil i'm i'm gonna give me some prisma color color pencil soon and show you how to deal with that let's see what you do that's basically what you do you just go in and just put your base color down Get it all in there nice and saturated. Coping markers are great for that. I see, I've been using my coping markers for a while, and it's been like, it's time for me to get some refill kits and get some more markers and some more nibs because some of my stuff is starting to dry out. So, and it's all about the paper that you use to. You can use regular printer paper because I did for a while, or you can use sketchbook paper, like the like thick quilted sketchbook paper, or you can get marker paper. Either or, whatever works best for you. I like sketchbook paper. But, um, yeah, you basically, like you see me doing right here, get in your base, get it in nice and good, and see what teeth I use. I, I, you can either use a warm gray, a natural gray. I haven't used the toner grays yet, or you can use a um, cool gray. In this sketch, I use the cool grays. I, my C1 is actually done because I've been using it heavy um, on my main channel I did like a, a run of horror legends that are horror legends to me like Hellraiser like Pinhead from Hellraiser, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, The Invisible Man and I did some other ones that I did not record like Chucky, Pennywise the Clown, um, Jigsaw, and I did a Hannibal Lecter, but I didn't like the way it came out, so I threw it away. Um, basically, and I used it a lot. I used it a lot when I did my Digimon Fusion sketch on the main channel and my Lugia and Togekiss sketch. Like, I've been using my cool, cool C1 for a while. And basically, what I just did right here, I just took the C3 and just basically outlined the teeth. And I took what the C1... It like you can still use it, but it's like streaky. So I just get a little shadow in the teeth. So and then I, I, I hold it all together. I just started doing this. I learned it. Like I just held everything together with just with like a big black background. You can just take a sharpie and do that. I don't use Copic black because I would need a refill kit for that. And I don't have the money to get a refill kit. I'm actually saving up now so I can just buy me a whole 72 pack of Copic markers. They're expensive markers, but they're great because you can buy refill kits and continue to use them. I use Prisma Color too sometimes. Like if I don't have a certain color in Copic, I would go to a Prisma Color and and use it. Like you would see that on my, I guess, I think it's my Iro Monster sketch that's going to be coming out soon. But with this sketch, it was just, it was fun, man. It was the nostalgic factor for me, man. I grew up, Angry, Angry Beers was that cartoon, man, along with Ira, Monsters, Hey Arnold, Doug. Nickelodeon had some cartoons back then. Now, in the days, I don't know what's going on. I guess they're going in a new direction for the new newest generation of kids. But uh, I understand on, I think it was Nick and um, Nick one of the other Nick channels that they have, they do show like all that and some of them older TV shows, but it's not like all that, Kenan and Kel, 
I'm not sure what else they show. I think, I think they start showing Animaniacs and uh, Tiny Toon Adventures again, I think. But Angry Beavers was just that cartoon. It was recently on Netflix. And Netflix only had the first two seasons. And they didn't put the third in, I guess it's like four seasons or like more than that. And like they just recently took it off. I'm pretty sure they're going to put it back on there soon. But Netflix does that a lot. I'm gonna just I'm gonna wind up just buying the DVDs because I want to have them in my collection. And there's a lot of DVDs I need to buy to have in my collection, or I could just buy them off iTunes. I'll probably do that. But yeah, just um, basically what you do, you take in your next shade of color, which this was my E13, and you just re-outline it with it, and you do a little shade, and you. Sh outline the arm and the knee basically what you just see me doing a little, add a little shadow and you see how Norbert don't look like the cartoon version of Norbert it looked like a re-edited version of Norbert now like if you look at the newest cartoons and you know how they revamped the old cartoons that's basically how it looked don't you know how the, the, the Looney Tunes show how they revamped the characters and they look somewhat <coughs> look like they can be real but that's basically what I do, man. It's, it's no outlines. You can do a lot without um, no outline, no black outline. If you use a black outline, sometimes you can find inside those lines. And sometimes coloring outside the lines, per se, can create a whole different type of art for you. And that's basically what I do, man. I defy, they, they say you can't, people say you can't do it, I have to prove them wrong, because I've been doing no outline for the last couple months, and it just, people seem to like it, and I've been, it's not a lot of people that can do no outlines, because some people just like, like the, the, the construction of a black outline, and I think it gives you more depth or more dimension or whatever. Might have explained it to me. I don't remember because they were trying to convince me to use a black outline. I'm my own artist. I might use a black outline once in a while on like certain parts. Like you see me go back in there with the hair, I use a black outline for that. But outlining the whole drawing and the what I outline and then going back in and doing it, nah, you gotta take the drawing and do it your own style. And that's why I start doing the color blocking style. It's actually a tattoo. Like people want tattooing, use they, this style. Like, <clears throat> so that I started using because I seen a lot of artists, like a lot of overseas artists, use color blocking, and the way they do it is so awesome. So I just did it like with my cartoons, man. I'm a cartoon fanatic, man. Actually. Still watch old cartoons to this day. There's a lot of old cartoons that I missed that I wish still came on TV, man. And it just sucks that, like, if I, when I, if I do have a kid or want to have a kid, they will not be able to see these old cartoons that I grew up on unless I have, like, tapes. Well, not tapes, but, like, YouTube. Because YouTube some have some, have some of the old cartoons, like Samurai Piece of Cats, Mighty Ducks, Wildcats, um... A lot of old cartoons, like man, I have to buy these DVDs so I can have them in my collection, so my kids can see these cartoons that I grew up more like Why Daddy. I did draw these cartoons because these cartoons were awesome. It's no lie, like Ducktales was awesome. Um, I didn't like like a lot of Disney stuff, but Ducktales was cool. Um, Goof Troop was cool. House and Mouse was alright. Um, what else you had that was on um, Disney? You had the Gargoyles, that was my show. It was just a whole lot of sh stuff that they, they had on there. And then Cartoon Network was like, beast with cartoons. You had the Tex Avery cartoons. You had the Hanna-Barbera cartoons. It was just like a magnitude of stuff just put together. And like, in my child, like, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you had these cartoons and you like, yo. It might take, you like, all right, it's 2013. I'm drawing these, car these cartoons right now. And I post them on Instagram and Facebook. And people are like, yo, I haven't seen this cartoon in forever, man. 
And then when you draw it, it make me want to go watch it. That's the type of art that I like doing. I like doing this nostalgic stuff because when people see it, they like they like they go bonkers. Like, and bonkers was another good cartoon. <laughs> They go bunkers. They like yo. I haven't seen this in a while, man. You drawing stuff that from our child, like childhood. I'm like that's what I still watch. I like I watch. I barely watch TV. I watch a tattoo competition show or a tattoo show because I was a tattoo artist. I was a tattoo apprentice. I'm still. I might go back into tattooing soon, but. Tattoos. I love tattoos. I have tattoos myself. I have a boat. A, a large amount of tattoos that are done on me by my, myself, um, and but I just designed a whole cartoon, sleep, cartoon and comic book sleeve for myself that I hopefully sooner or later I will get done. And this, I'm sorry for this long pause in the video, but I was picking out my new, my like my mouth colors. I, I usually use a pink for the tongue. I use a darker pink for like the inside of the mouth. Sometimes that's according to what I want to use at the time, but it comes out good, man. My drawings, I take my time on them. The reason why, I and mean, people are like, why do your color blocking skills come out so nice? I'm like, because you gotta put more than just like your artist skill in. You gotta put your heart in most of these drawings, especially if you grew up on something like this. That plays a big part in how you draw stuff. Like, when I do the white highlights in this thing, you will see how the drawing come to life. But that will be, the, the highlight part will be speed, speed it up, because you don't need to see through me watching me outline the whole thing in white. <laughs> Outside of a white, and do my little white highlights. And, like, with the noses, I just did a base color, and then you went back, go back in with the darker color. And the red, I just did the same thing with that too, man. This sketch was nostalgic as hell for me, man. Even the Our Real Monster sketch is gonna be it was real nostalgic for me, man. Always sign your art somewhere like inside your drawing. Because nowadays people like to steal and try to claim your own art. But hey man, this is my angry beaver sketch, man. Norbert and Daggett. These two guys, man, were hilarious. They did some funny stuff, man. This is, uh, hope man ain't talk y'all to death, but I just get excited when I talk about the stuff, like old cartoons, man. Cartoons in general, like, I'm glad they redid a Pac Man show. Like, I remember what Pac Man had it. The old Pac Man show was Super Pac Man and whatever. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. This is Angry Beavers, the full length video. The speed art will be on my my main channel, so thanks for watching. Peace.